officers on campus. Thank you for joining us tonight for 13 News Live at 6. I'm Brooke Wagner. Hundreds of Arizona schools are getting state security grants to pay for school resource officers, but staffing shortages for many local police departments mean officers are in short supply. So state school superintendent Tom Horn has at least a temporary solution. Live at Sonora and uh, Science Academy, one of the schools getting help from Horn's plan. And Shelby, you talked to one on one with the superintendent about what his program will and won't do. Hi there. Hi, Brooke. Well, first off, we've seen these tragedies across the United States and Tom Horn tells me he doesn't want Arizona to suffer in that same way. And with that in mind, that's why he told me that any school that applied to have a police officer on campus got one. All the tragedies we've had around the country, uh, we want to be sure we don't have a tragedy here. That's my nightmare. State Superintendent Tom Horn spent the day in Tucson today, visiting a number of schools and meeting with teachers. Just one day after announcing his plan to get more police officers in schools amid an officer shortage. The biggest tragedy that you can imagine is, uh, is some maniac invades a school and kills 20 kids. It's happened in other states. It could happen here and there's no one there to protect them. Giving him $90 million for both police officers and counselors on campus in schools across Arizona, with a primary focus on the police officers. Now they're gonna arrange for them to be at a school. Now it's on their own time, so it'd probably just be one day a week, so you'd have to have five police officers to cover a school. This means that if a police officer has a day off, they can spend the day working at a school. Horn says that's better than having no coverage at all. What does that mean for schools that didn't apply? Is that because they already have one or they just don't feel the need or, or what's that? Or bad philosophy sometimes. One major district wasn't on the list. TUSD. I sent them over an email asking why they didn't apply for an officer. They sent back this email saying that they're already covered on their own. If, if a tragedy happens, it's going to be on the school officials that wouldn't apply for a police officer. Now, because of this grant, Horn tells me that he's already approved 500 counselors to be funded for campuses for, the, for schools here in Arizona and 310 police officers. For now, reporting in Tucson, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News. Shelby, thank you. New at 6, a man accused.